Praise the Lord, everybody. Just wanted to come on for a few minutes to talk to you today about if you let the devil ride, he's going to want to drive. So with that being said, I'm going to read to you today out of uh, Matthew 12, 43 through 45. And in this uh, particular scripture, it's talking about uh, spirits and how they infiltrate you. So I'm just going to go ahead and read it. When an unclean spirit goes out of a man, he goes through dry places, seeking rest and finds none. Then he says, I will return to my house from which I came. And when he comes, he finds it empty, swept, and put in order. Then he goes and takes with him seven other spirits more wicked than himself. And they enter and dwell there. And the last state of that man is worse than the first. So shall it also be with the wicked generation. In this scripture, it basically talks about uh, spirits that infiltrate your, your body. They can be cast out. Uh, and demons are real. And what happens is when they leave your body, they're going around the earth to and from looking for another home. Someone else's body they can inhabit. When they can't find anybody, they go back to that home and check and see if it's still swept and put in order. If it's not in order, then they'll infiltrate it again. And this time, when they come back, they'll bring demons seven times stronger than the ones before. And when they come back, these demons come back with names. They come back with hate. They come back with murder. Uh, they come back with lust. Uh, they come back with uh, lion spirits, um, witchcraft spirits, just all kinds of spirits. There's so many spirits. They're mean, uh, a lot uh, angrier. So he wants to make sure that he can stay this time. So he brings somebody who can help him. Um, so with that being said, just know that we have to protect ourselves. The way to do that is to get saved. Read Romans 10 and 9. Talks about being saved, believing with your heart, and that's how you can be saved. So if you protect yourself, you don't have to worry about these little demons coming in. Sin is always lurking, trying to find somewhere where they can come and do what they want to do. And, you know, you, you have to make sure that you are not in sin. Because sin always opens the door. Any little crack, any little crevice, sin it opens the door for sin. So basically with that being said, just make sure that you know that sin always wants more. It never is satisfied. Sin always wants more. It, 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 sin, the devil targets people who are not filled uh, or who have... Um, not been saved, sanctified, and filled with the Holy Ghost. The, the enemy looks for people whose temples are not covered with love, not covered with Jesus, um, have not accepted God. So that's why it's important to do that. I remember um, when I was in high school, I used to go to this program in the summertime, and we would stay um, on campus in these dorms. And there was a young lady that had a Ouija board. And I don't remember who it was. I don't remember her name. I, I can't even vaguely remember her face, but I just remember that she had a Ouija board. And I remember saying, do you know what that is? And she's like, yeah. And I'm like, I can't dibble and dabble in that because I know what that opens the door to. Growing up in church and being a Christian, I knew to, to, to just basically stay away from things like that. So um, with that being said, just know that you have the authority over your own body. You have the power to keep uh, sin out of your life. It's important. We all sin and come short of the glory of God. Nobody's exempt from that. The Bible says that we were born like that. We we're born sinners. But when you know better, you do better. So I just want you to know with that being said, know that God loves you and that I love you and that work to keep your temple uh, safe from the enemy, keep your temple holy, keep your temple uh, uplifted with love, keep your temple safe. And just know that God is always going to be with you. So with that being said, have a good day. Bye.